I've had the AT778UV for um, a couple of years now. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, however, um, people have said on uh, a couple of occasions that the, the audio is a little bit low on it. Um, there's no settings in the menu on this to actually change this uh, or change the deviation. And um, having a little bit of a dig about online, it seems that um, people have suggested that the hole in the microphone uh, I've just took the back off the microphone here, that the hole at the front here doesn't align very well with the, the microphone insert. But this PCB can simply be removed by removing these three screws and I'm going to enlarge the hole on the front of the microphone there, this little square one, to about a two mil hole roughly to give it a little bit more of an aperture. This is something that you see on some handhelds as well, this can be a problem so we'll see if this uh, brings the uh, the audio up a little bit. All right, there's the keypad membrane uh, as it comes out and there is the electric condenser microphone and I can if you look very closely you can see a little notch where the casing is pressed on the rubber there and you can see it's not centered you see the top of the, the rubber grommet there so it's, it's not entirely centered so I think putting a larger hole in the microphone is definitely the way to go here so let's uh, look at making that a little bit bigger again you can see how badly aligned this microphone was if you if you imagine that's the horizontal shape of the microphone there and look where it was actually sitting as I've just said if I can focus on there it's sitting on the rubber so it's, it's a mile away a total mile away from the aperture to the microphone it's just it's had, it's basically muffled at the top so this is complete misalignment now it may be that there's enough jiggle room on the circuit board that you could adjust it by moving that but um, I'm just going to open up this aperture um, it's fairly evident that the the aperture needs opening up towards the the bottom part of the aperture so let's let's do that and um, get it back on the SDR and see if that's made a difference so I should think it would have done and for this I'm going to use the tack life little grinding tool which I've used in other videos and uh, just so I can just taper the hole just exactly to the right um, size. I don't want it to be too big. I don't want to sort of damage the look of the the mic. It's quite a nice looking microphone on this radio. So, but we can't have the audio being uh, being low. So, let's have a buzz. Right, as you can see now, we've uh, opened up the uh, the hole considerably now, which should help the microphone insert a line. It was miles off, and uh, there it is from the front. I've drilled away a little bit of the right in, but small price to pay. Or a functioning microphone. Interesting on this microphone on the back case they actually pack it out with this weight. Uh, I can see no other function for it other than just to add some heft <laughs> to the uh, to the back shell of the radio. It's certainly nothing to do with the hook there is it? So um, yeah strange. A weight. Right we managed to find Mick. He's watching the football but uh, we'll try not to annoy him too much. G0 LDB, G7 LNK. Yep, G0 LDB, returning to G7 LNK. Right, I'm ready when you are. <laughs> if I get this wrong, you've got nothing to worry about, have you? G0 LDB. Okay, yeah, no problem. So I'll just explain what I'm doing for the for the viewers. Um, we're transmitting on the Anytone to Mick and we're going to receive on the ICOM but we're also going to do an audio test with the ICOM as well to stop the radios feeding back. I've turned the volume down on the Anytone and we're just going to do the test to, uh, with the ICOM and we're going to receive on the ICOM all the time. Okay so me, I'm now transmitting on the, uh, the Anytone and um, uh, it's on the, the standard settings, I've done nothing, that you can't change the, uh, it from wide to narrow on this uh, in the software so this is standard, I've widened out the microphone hole and now I'm going to change over to the uh, to the ICOM without you saying anything and you're going to let me know uh, if there's any difference between the two, okay? Right, hi there Mick, um, I'm on the uh, the ICOM now um, I'm just wondering how different that sounds I'm uh, at the same distance away from the microphone uh, we've got a, a loft antenna on this and I'm using an external antenna on the Anytone but really you're so close uh, it won't make any difference as you're only literally less than a mile away so this should uh, shouldn't make any difference I was just wondering if you could tell 
the viewers what you think the difference is now between the two, whether the Anytone sounds lower, louder, quieter, deeper, whatever. If you could give us your opinion, that would be most helpful, sir. G-Zero LDB returning. Right, the, the Icon is BBC quality, always is anyway. With the Anytone, it is very close to the Icon. Loudness is good. Um, the tone is very good. And to be honest, I can't, there's not much difference between the two, but you can tell, I could tell the Icon was just a little bit better audio. Well, that certainly does seem to be the fix uh, for this radio. If you've got uh, a variant of this radio, or uh, the, the CRT even do a CB version, with the similar microphone housing and you're having reports of low audio I can certainly recommend that little modification it seems to have uh, oh, focus it seems to have fixed my uh, my problem anyway with the radio I hadn't realized people hadn't mentioned it and I've had it for two years so um, please if you do <laughs> if uh, any hams are watching and you do notice uh, folks do have low, low audio like I like myself they may not realize so uh, always worth mentioning that I tend to uh, uh, also if people are over deviating as well uh, I always give that a mention right okay if you've enjoyed this one and found it helpful please click the like and the subscribe button and uh, click the little bell uh, so you get warning or notification when I upload a new video it all really helps me grow the channel and share this information with you guys hoping that one day maybe you might find this helpful too okay we'll say 73's catch you later